Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from News Channel 3. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. One quick little setup here for those of you who are watching on the uh, camera. I'm down here in the lower left-hand corner. We are broadcasting live on Periscope, Twitter, Facebook at some point in time this evening, so stay tuned for more on that. And I've got entirely too much equipment in one or two square feet of space so i think may have to get myself a bigger weather office at some point in time this is our exclusive video weather blog called weather overtime thanks for joining us this is the evening edition if you'd like more information on the forecast current conditions outside the news channel 3 backyard right here tonight's forecast and then into tomorrow we've got some more sunshine coming our direction we've already got some snowfall out across portions of the area tonight and if you've got anything like that to send along go to wreg.com slash weather or Again, all those social media networks that you see on screen be glad to get more information about what's going on much of what we're looking at for tonight is again coming down in the form of one more wave of showers that are changing over to some snow showers let me get the precipitation type uh, on here so you can see more about what's going on here much of what we're seeing again for tonight is going to be uh, the possibility of more of this type of activity uh, coming on through what we're seeing so far again in the light gray that is not the satellite picture that's the radar showing again the potential for what we're picking up in the form of just plain snowfall that is again the radar interpreting what you see in the rain as precipitation coming down as snowfall now looking a little bit uh, farther to the south we have again what is showing up nicely at this time as just plain rainfall which of course it's too warm down into portions of northern Mississippi for anything but rainfall at this time all this is going to continue to move its way to the southeast matter of fact after this last round that we're looking at here into parts of West Tennessee and northeastern Arkansas right around the boot heel once this filters on through that's it we're not going to be getting too much of anything else in the way of precipitation because way up to the north into parts of Missouri Kentucky Illinois all the way back up into places like Iowa and Nebraska. We've got a lot of dry air coming on through. Yes, it's cold, but it's also going to be, again, on the dry side of things. So this narrow band of snow is going to be the last gasp of anything else we pick up in the way of precipitation for later on tonight. Now, much of what we're seeing, again, so far into around northwestern areas of Tennessee, Dyersburg, Gates, Brownsville, Humboldt, Jackson, Covington, Ripley, all in that area. That's where we're picking up, again, some snow showers. We've had reports of about one to two inches of snow across parts of West Tennessee. Eastern Arkansas, especially north of I-40 from the Mississippi River westward, we are seeing again more snow showers coming down in this location, starting to end up around the boot heel and dropping on down throughout the rest of the Mid-South for this evening and continuing its way on down toward, again, the I-40 corridor. Speaking of which, again, as of right now, let me see if I can get the uh, sensitivity ramped up just a little bit because that doesn't look right on there. What we're seeing is again very light to moderate amounts of snowfall coming on through. Uh, that again starting to make its way through the northern areas of the metro around Shelby County. That's where we're seeing again the heaviest amount of precipitation in these very narrow bands coming through portions of northern areas of Shelby County right around portions of uh, Tipton County into around Lauderdale. That drifting on through the rest of the area. Northern parts of Mississippi you are going to pick up some frozen precipitation Precipitation. The emphasis on the word some, though, right around areas of around north central Mississippi, Potts Camp, Ripley, back to around areas of Holly Springs, Walnut, Corinth. It looks like you're picking up a little bit more activity in those locations right along the Tennessee Mississippi state line. Southeast Arkansas, not a lot going on at this point. Anything south and along of Interstate 40 is very light from Forest City, Crowley's Ridge, all the way down to Helena, West Helena, and most of what we're looking at right now is just plain rain. Rainfall. But for the most part, for the rest of the area, we are getting, again, at least some precipitation coming on through. The temperatures at this point in time, that's the main thing to be worried about because we, if anything does drop below freezing, and it already has across much of the area, that's where we'll see, again, the possibility of some of this stuff sticking on the roadways, and that could be a problem into tomorrow. National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory for the counties shaded in purple. That, again, for northeast Arkansas, much of west Tennessee, minus Fayette and Shelby County not included in the winter weather advisory. Likewise, all of northern Mississippi and all of southeastern Arkansas is also not included in this at this time. So this, in the purple shaded counties from up around Hardeman, McNary, up to Dyer County, into around Poinsett, 
and around the point, uh, Poinsett and Craighead County and Mississippi County areas in Arkansas. That's going to be the main target zone for what we're looking for in the way of anything involving snow accumulation of any note that could cause problem. Now, does that mean we won't get anything in Shelby County or, say, northern Marshall County in northern Mississippi? Will we wind up with 0% there? No, there will be more, but the best possibility is going to be in the locations that you see shaded in purple. So if you're in the Boot Hill, Missouri, northeast Arkansas, west Tennessee, that's where we're going to be seeing, again, the main problem out there. And this is in effect until about midnight tonight. So once again, the National Weather Service seeming to agree that we do not have too much of any major concerns out there for um, a major winter storm coming on through so that's good news across uh, much of the area for tonight currently again seeing some snow flurries out there watch this forecast carefully because this might be one of the last times this season that you see snow in and around the mid-south area there's just not that much out there and over the course of the next several hours we'll be looking at the chances starting to dwindle especially as we go into around areas after midnight that's where we really start to see uh, the possibility of the snow precipitation out there they're really starting to knock off, so doubtful we're going to be seeing much of anything after about midnight. This is going to be a short-lived winter storm. It's not that huge. It's going to be causing its own problems, though, so stay tuned for more on that with News Channel 3. Here's what it looks like. Again, that band of precipitation in the blue and white starts sinking its way through the area as we go through about News Channel 3 at 10 and right about the area of just about midnight. Then that drier air starts to make its way on through. Winds will be out of the north. Temperatures will be below freezing across much of the Mid-South area and we'll continue to see again some very chilly numbers right on through the area into tomorrow morning but by the time the clocks uh, spring see this go back spring forward tonight so daylight saving time begins and this again will be uh, about the time the, the clocks spring forward uh, it's going to be very chilly out there. There's no question about that. Also fairly breezy, but it's also going to be dry. There's just nothing out there in the way of any moisture. All that moves on down toward the south and to the east, and that's about all that we have left of this thing coming on through. It will be chilly and dry throughout much of the, the day tomorrow. Looks like high temperatures tomorrow afternoon will be aiming for the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s, about 10 degrees below normal from where we get at this time of the year. And then fairly chilly with more clouds coming back our way by the time we hit News Channel 3 at 10. Snow accumulation again what we're looking for for the most part the heaviest accumulations are going to be back to the north around Dyersburg, Blytheville, Jonesboro, the Boot Hill, northeast Arkansas and into around portions of northwestern Tennessee. We're just not looking at that much down across areas south of the Tennessee Mississippi state line. Some accumulations yeah won't roll that out better possibility of accumulations the farther north you go into the northeastern Arkansas, northwest Tennessee area. That's going to be the main thing for tonight. Stay tuned for more on the forecast with Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network. And if you've got pictures, we want to see them, please tweet them to us. Uh, send them to me at aonic underscore WREG3. Also on Facebook, also on Instagram, also on Google+, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, Periscope, SoundCloud, and as soon as I figure out how to get it on Game Boy, I will let you know about that. We'll be doing updates throughout the rest of the evening on Facebook, also keeping you updated as to what's going on throughout the rest of the Mid-South on News Channel 3 at 10, so stay tuned for more information there. And also, again, if there's any closings, you can stop by WREG.com slash weather for more information. Live and direct with the evening edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for tonight's edition, and stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online.